All right, so another beautiful day here at Cable Management. I uh, just got back from Texas with Kurt. We finished the installation over there. So um, there's been this uh, thing going on here. I've been uh, working a lot with, uh, with some auto shredders, and I was seeing these ads in magazine, micro finds, and to come clean, um, I was always thinking about something like this. This is normally what I call finds. And this here, it's a little powder, and we have not separated this yet. So this is the last stage, the last process we do. And out of this, we get a lot of precious metals normally. So this here is, is a bin. It's part of the process, the byproduct of what we're doing. So out of this, I'd say, uh, depending on what we're processing, if we're doing wire, it's about 50-50 plastic and, and uh, uh, metals. But in this case here, it's probably going to be closer to 20% metals. Um, but the copper fines, in this case, it's going to be all metals fines plus some precious metals. It ends up looking like this, and it's just dust. Go see, zoom in, in focus. There you go, just fine, fine dust. This is silver plated uh, material. So, when I heard micro fines for the first time, um, I said, Well, how fine can micro fine get? So, obviously, uh, I was thinking on the wrong scale. When you think car shredder, uh, their fines are going to be a lot bigger than the fines from wire chopping or from silver recovery. We have here a sample that we got from a customer of microfines. And this is it right here. And this is microfines from car shredding. Um, I've seen a couple plants do this and uh, I think they're a lot more complicated than they need to be. So I decided to give a crack at it and I'm very satisfied with the results. We have a, a little bit different mill that we use for this. It's uh, more abrasion resistant because there's a lot of stones and glass and gravel and uh, wood and uh, other stuff that's different from wire chopping. So we use a different mill. We go uh, through the rest of our system as we normally would. Now obviously this plant here is our laboratory and I've showed you guys this plant before so it's a lot more complicated than a regular wire chopper because we have customers that come here and say, hey, I want to see Steel BX being chopped. So we say, okay, well, let's set up the machine for that. Uh, hey, I want to do, you know, a telephone wire, very fine wire, or, or some kind of uh, weird uh, precious metal wire. Uh, and we're able to do that with this plant, and that's why it's, like I said, a lot more complicated than a regular wire chopper is. Uh, that being said, we, um, when we build the plants, we build them for whatever the customer is doing and we try hard not to make them super complicated uh, so simple is always better in my opinion and uh, and I think this is what we've done here so we've taken these microfines and we've gotten four fractions uh, and we could get a lot more fractions with screening more and, and doing a couple more things we also haven't run anything over uh, optical sorter uh, at all so this is just going through our regular sorting process and let me show you the results and this is the coarse fractions and here we have the unders the medium nice and clean and then we have this fraction here, which looks like it has a lot of uh, aluminum, a little bit of copper and some gold plated material in there, but mostly aluminum. And then the final, if I can get in here, and here we go. This is mostly copper, and you can see some material with precious metals, a little bit of aluminum. Uh, for now, uh, I'm pretty impressed with the results. So I've seen Microfine's plants working, and uh, and I haven't seen clean material like this. Uh, so it's pretty cool.